Hi everybody, so recently I had a subscriber or viewer asking me how to modify the screen set so the graphical interface will look more modern and uh, he mentioned Physics Anonymous channel that created this uh, graphical interface that looks uh, real nice and modern and flat and uh, I mean how to create this background image and what kind of uh, format I use and how would I implement it or uh, make it come through on Mac 3. I decided to just make a quick video on how to create the, the graphical interface or the screen that will look something like this and you can create anything but uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the process of how you can actually do yourself. So without further ado let's start okay I'm gonna try to use a mouse for this but I do have the, the pen tablet here that I use for drawing okay the first thing you're gonna need is a program that uh, allows you to manipulate images in my case I'm using Krita and I do use Krita because it's an open source program this is what I'm gonna use but you can use any program that you're familiar with if you want to download Krita, just go to krita.org and it's free to download and use. I'm going to create a new file here. And the file, since I want my image to be 1920 by 1080, I select the size here on this first screen. And I do have like pre-selected here several sizes. This one, this particular one is a drawing practice. It's where I practice my drawings. So 1920 by 1080, 150 dots or pixels per inch so I'm gonna create it and I got it set up so it opens and creates the first layer in a black background for me but this is actually not the background I'm gonna use as a matter of fact uh, I'm going to make this background a gray color instead of black so if I pour the paint bucket onto it then it looks kind of like this what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna select another color, just a lighter shade of gray. And you see here it's got a mirror image uh, button for the vertical and the horizontal axis. And uh, if I want to create some sort of screen or divide this background on different sections, it's easier to just get the square here and I'm gonna fill it up with the foreground color and I'm gonna select the round the edges uh, 15 pixels I'm gonna just draw this square here and if you see it made it mirror on the right and on the bottom that's how you would create some equal distance objects on the screen if you don't want this uh, I can actually go back here or control Z and uh, I'll erase that but let's say that you want a window where your um, code is going to show you can do it here and maybe uh, what other window has got the, uh, the window where the axis the arrows are going to be you can place it there but you can see this is not going to be like in the same place right so let me uh, go back I'm gonna create another layer on top of that one so I can move it around if if I create the layer and now I draw on that layer on top then I can uh, draw it and move it around now I can like drag it down or put it anywhere so you're gonna create different windows I suggest that you create a different layer for each window so you can move it around so let's say we got that one and then we need to create another one here maybe for the DROs that's one and then I can move it around and if I come here and duplicate that layer see I already duplicated this layer and I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna move it down and it'll keep it in the same plane and I, I'm gonna create another one from that one there you go do the same thing 
let's say that you got three axes and now you have the three windows now once you line up those windows let me just kind of like put them at the same place there then you can combine these three layers with control e control e there you go one two now i can move them there in the single layer now i can move it around uh let's see this it needs to go up a little i'm gonna use my arrow keys on the keyboard to control it a little bit better and now pressing shift then i can slide it to the right maybe you want some shadow underneath there this layer that i got here i'm going to duplicate now it's duplicated and i must select this alpha lock here and now i'm gonna make them a different color i'm gonna make them a little more black there you go there now i'm gonna move it but i'm gonna move it down right here with the layer i must select it and then i can like move the layer underneath to represent some sort of shadow there once i get the shadow then i'm gonna combine both both of those layers again in a single one now if i move it it's gonna move with the shadows right here you go i'm gonna do the same with this one so i'm gonna duplicate it there now i'm gonna paint it on top of it but i need to select the alpha lock so it won't paint it paints only on that area and i'm gonna move it underneath so i can also place it as if it was a shadow there you go now once it's like that then i can combine those two layers and i know this is kind of like oh you're going too fast and i don't know what to do that's part of uh, learning your graphics program so you can actually use the tools that, that your program has got so you can do all this manipulation on the images let's say that that's the main screen that you want to transfer to max screen editor and use it for a new set what i need to do now is i need to export this image that you see here on the screen with the file export and I'm gonna export it as a PNG image. And I'm gonna go to the folder that I got those things set up, which is on my three screen here. And I'm gonna name this uh, gray flat background. Let's name it like that. And I'm gonna save it as a PNG image and say okay and now you got it very well now what i'm gonna open is the program the editor max screen editor version 1.72 i downloaded this from the internet i think i searched in google for max screen version 1.72 it's been a long time i don't know if it's still there but this is the program that you use to modify the screens on Mac 3. And I'm gonna select this background image. It selects that image in the background. So if you see here in the image path is meal bitmaps background main dot JPEG. Now, what do I need to do to, to gather that image from the folder that I got it in she was on videos YouTube Mac 3 is where I put that gray flat background I need to actually put it in Mac 3 folder this I'm gonna copy it and you're gonna go open another tab and I'm going to this C and uh, there's Mac 3 and we're gonna come here to bitmaps and mill bitmaps and I got all those images there you see and I just gonna paste it here 
and they pasted it right here on the top all right now we're ready to grab that image and change it for the image that we got here on on this uh, screen set so let's go again and now look for it gray flat black there you go now it's going to open it there you see he changed that screen that we kind of designed and and put it on top of all of this stuff now what you can do now next is like try to grab uh, the uh, the arrow here let's see image there you go we can size it to fit that image and now kind of is on top of this other buttons but you have to like tell the program that is behind those buttons or just make it or get those buttons out of there anyway so you can actually manipulate until you uh, place that the arrow on top of that window that you created I'm gonna set this one on the side here so I can see what is underneath and this I recommend not to get rid of all this or delete them it's better just to move them around and change them as you go now this is a an old program and it's kind of hard sometimes to if I select too many of the buttons it just doesn't want me to to do it uh, easily so if I grab two then I, yeah I can move two let's see I just need to clear this area where all those windows are if you move them around and you don't know what this uh, uh, buttons or LEDs or the arrows or whatever they are just select them and it, it will indicate exactly what they are here let me just put them over here this, this is what I was telling you it's not easy to do when you're using these old programs let me make it larger so I can actually move it so you have to get very familiar with this sort of uh, editor so you get comfortable enough to start moving it around so the only way to do it is just to try it and practice it make them fit there there you go this one you can select these two select them both like that and you can align them now align them to be space space same width and same height there you go now those two the arrows are um, they're uh, the same size so you can move all these buttons uh, out of the area that you're designing you start placing them and only what you need and you can get rid of whatever you don't need so this is to give you an idea what you can do you know how to uh, make that background image first and place it on page number one and then move around all those buttons to fit whatever you're designing or to put them in the place that you want them. so uh, so you don't lose anything you can save this file as save this file as gray flat now it's saved as a particular file set that you can keep manipulating or modify what I'm gonna do next I'm going to open Krita again I'm going to actually you can either do it as the same size file but let's say that you want to create a small button they say that you want like a 200 pixels by 100 pixels we're gonna create a smaller size all right now we're gonna create a button and a button is gonna be I don't know let's create the green one square that's a button and it's kind of like um, a little bit too small 
that's why it's a little bit pixelated and I don't like the color so let me go ahead and fill it with a another color that's gonna be our start button how does he start I think it's got an arrow white arrow All right, so I got that button there. There you go. Okay, so now I got that button and I'm gonna export it. Green arrow. Very well. We're going to come here and copy paste. There you go. Okay, let's see that we're going to get the cycle start button. Cycle start. Now we're going to go to in arrow. Open. Okay, so now we got the button here. And let me get rid of the LED. Let me get rid of image. And now let's put this one back here. So you get an idea how how this um, button is placed here and it started to look more flat now the functions of the button won't change because what you're doing is on the same fun function see image it's just changing the image this is still the function of cycle start and the code and all that and the shortcuts are still the same all you're doing is just changing the image on that particular button and the same you can do with everything else the arrows buttons sliders uh, whatever now the sliders are limited what you can do with them on this version of uh, Mac 3 screens editor and it just doesn't allow you to change those too much but you can still change the image of the slider so I think that you can go only vertical on those you cannot go horizontal with the sliders okay guys so this is gonna be all for this video. I hope you get something out of it. And uh, if you wanna check some of my other videos, you just go to my channel page and search for the CNC videos or Mac 3 videos. And you can just search for several videos that I got there that talk about this sort of stuff. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.